And now for a little thing we call Quiplash 3, Quips on Parade. I'm Schmitty, and I'm trying to figure out which one of you will snort laugh. And extra players can put in that room code and vote in the audience. Round one is on deck. 
You'll answer two prompts on your device in any way you want, and then each of your responses will square off against someone else's. The remaining players vote on their favorite. Easy, right? Points are awarded based on the percentage of people who went for your answer, so make them count. Your entire lives have led to this moment. Prompt number one is... Okay, time to choose. Next on the docket... Alright, choose your favorite. And next is... Decisions dis... That was round one. Reminder that those all go on your permanent record. Let's see the scores. <laughs> round two has arrived. The points are doubled, but so are the expectations. Let's do this! Kicking things off... Punch... Let's keep it going! Alright people, it's voting time! Next up. Here's the fun part. Pick your favorite quip. Wow, that's it for round two? Time really flies, huh? Let's see your scores.
get ready for Riplash. And behold, a final round to end all rounds. Each of you will be sent a prompt that requires three separate responses. Pretty cool, huh? Hey, we have an odd number of players, so you get the honor of competing against me. Tick tock, time's almost up. Let's see what you've done. Time to pick the one you like best. Now it gets real. I guess this is really happening. Let's see the final scores. And now, Quiplash 3. Schmitty fights a dragon. I'm Schmitty, the host and proprietor of this game, so please treat it with respect. Here's round one. You get points based on the percentage of people who choose your answer. Off we go.
Okay, let's see what you've wrought. Let's get the party started with... Now vote! And next... And now it's time to vote for your favorite. And here we have... And now pick your favorite. Check this out. Okay, choose your... <laughs> Round one is but a memory. Let's see those scores. So if round one was an appetizer, round two is a substantial meal. Double the points, double the indigestion. Let's make some noise. Let's set it off with... Make your vote count. Let's see how they handle. Okay, everybody, pick your favorite quip. Let's see the next one. All right, vote for the one you like best. Moving right along. Now it gets real. Pick your favorite. That was a round two for the ages. Let's see how you did. Come inside and behold Riplash. One last chance to strut your stuff. I'll be sending each of you a prompt that needs three separate responses. Easy stuff.
Let's see those thrips. All right, people, it's voting time. And now, pick your favorite. Take a deep breath and behold the final scores. Welcome to the Scrolliseum. These talented trainers are about to face off to see who's the best at creating champion characters with unusual skills. Will the underdogs take down the heavy favorites? It's time to get champed up.
20 seconds remain. Players need to name their character. It's time for the main event. Our first opponent enters the ring. And in this corner we've got... These two will battle to see who is the champion of the afterlife. This is tough to watch. Some extra cash goes to the underdog. Is this heaven or hell? Who knows? In this corner, we've got... They'll be facing off against... We'll decide once and for all who is the champion of Thirst Traps. This might be over. Get in the car, it's about over. And the crowd is left parched. Now entering the ring. And opposing them will be... One of them will be crowned a champion of this player in a parallel universe. This one's just about over. Wave the white flag. This one appears to be over. Hmm, something's a little off. Next up, it'll be... Versus... These two are facing off to see who is the champion of attention-seeking. It's getting ugly. Well, look at them, please. And that takes us to halftime. Here are the scores.
Name those characters. Let's start things off with our first two fighters. You will decide who is the champion of the Hootenanny. Are they down for the count? It's not over yet. Here's the next title up for grabs. The champion of going down in a blaze of glory. Will the trainers keep their characters or swap out? They got them on the ropes. <laughs> Sweet mercy! They did the work of two fighters. Two new fighters enter the ring. Who is the champion of being homeschooled? Oh, well, that might do it. We'll declare a winner after this next match. The champion of calling their mom by her first name. The trainers have a decision to make. They're evenly matched. What a stud! Here's our next matchup. One of them will be a champion of underappreciated workers. Is that all she wrote? This next contest could swing things. A champion of law and order characters who witnessed a crime. Will the players tag out? Let's find out. I don't believe what I'm seeing. What a sketchy move. Their chemistry is off the charts. It's time for our next bout. You will decide who is the champion of magical creatures. Is that the nail in the coffin? It all comes down to this next match. The champion of undercover spies. What will the trainers do? Let's see. More like a world chump, I'm just saying. A solo victory! What a feat! Okay, folks, that was the final match. The judges are tallying the final scores, and... We have a winner!
is your challenger Soon when the battle starts Will you have what it takes? Champ up! Champ up! Draw your champion and You've reached friend mode. If you're not friends with someone here, quick, whip out an intimate but humorous anecdote. It's a two-round game. It's game time! I'm sending a prompt to your devices now. That prompt is centered around one of your fellow players. For example, a prompt could be Maria's best life decision, and basically it could be a drawing of Maria at this party playing Drawful Animate. Right? Your job is to animate the title. For every player that correctly guesses what you drew, you get points. Let's make some trouble. Don't forget you can still join the audience by going to jackbox.tv and entering the room code. The animations are in. Some of them are very bad. Let's take a look. The subject of the title is already on your device. You just have to fill in the rest.
These all fit perfectly, but which one do you think actually inspired this animation? Let's check out the results. Somehow I feel like this is my fault. <laughs> Compose your title. Check these out. Who got duped? It's a disaster. It's a masterpiece. It's a disaster piece. Patent pending. Uphold democracy right now by voting. Who voted for what? Let's find out. I would see something like this. Here are the options. Okay, who got tricked? Final round, I need you to commit.
animations complete. Let's see what we've got. Tap your fingers on the keyboard to create a title. Look at all these forgeries. Pick the real deal. All right, let's see how this all shook out. This one deserves to be in a museum. Bathroom. What a spread, yum. Okay, time to vote. Let's see what people picked. Got a good title for this one? Put it in writing. These are your choices. Some of them are good. Okay, here's what happened. Reach the bitter end. Last animation.
We don't have all day. In fact, we have like a couple seconds. Choose only one. Okay, who voted for what? Yes, it's a typo. Grow up. Welcome, potential hires. We're thrilled you applied for this exciting employment opportunity. If you haven't guessed, I'm the boss around here, but I like to think of myself more as a buddy. A boss buddy. Water? My first rule of management, I only hire my dearest, closest friends. So let's get to know each other. Thank you. 
should hurry. Time's running out. Okay, I'll just file these. <laughs> Now that we're pals, I'm sending some tough, but fair, interview questions to your device. Show me what you got. Tell me a little bit about your I know one of these is better than the other, but as a test, why don't you guys choose? Cast your vote now. Synergy. you excited to get up in the morning? <laughs> What's a weakness of yours that could be seen as a strength? words from three separate people earns you an extra bonus. Why did you leave your former occupation? What's the secret to a proper work-life balance?
took a lot of teamwork. Let's see who teamworked the best. The biggest number is the best, if you ask me. Anyway, let's try a couple more icebreakers. Okay, same as before. Respond any way you want. Just don't skip on the details. Put some meat on those word bones. Stevens, I love you. Goodbye. Looks like words to me. <laughs> Round two of questioning. This time, I want to know how you would handle some tough workplace scenarios. Don't let me down. Tyler says he's the most flexible person in the office. How do you ruin his whole deal? Vote for your favorite now. <laughs> this round, good answers net you even more points. You're stuck in a broken elevator with a coworker who's been stealing your pens. What do you say to them? Synergy. 
Luigi. Our office likes to engage in April Fool's Day. What's your favorite prank? It's opposite day, and now you're the boss. What's your first decree? The company is looking for a new mascot. What do you suggest? Rated the question for some extra words. Just about any text you see on your device is fair game. I'm not much for reading, but from what I skimmed, you guys did great. Let's see who's in the lead. Math, am I right? Let's do one more icebreaker. Don't overthink it. Just put down whatever enters your mind. Unless you're thinking about Victorian stage actor Henry Irving. Not a fan. recycle all this paper. Just the words. Okay, it's the final round and it appears we're missing something. Your resumes. Probably my fault. A rat got in my desk drawer and everything in there is his now.
I can't wait to see these. Go ahead and vote already. It's the final round, so I'm upping the point bonus even more. We've got an odd number of candidates, so I'm putting our top three together. You're all five candidates, except maybe you. Anyway, only one of you is getting hired. The job goes to... Congratulations! You're our new lead commodities wrangler and trainer. Welcome to the team! Oh, and Allison, you're fired.
Welcome to Talking Points. What an esteemed group of speakers we have here. Didn't I see you at TalkCon last year? Let's jump right in. On your devices, finish the three speech titles you've been given. Now, pick one of the titles that has been sent to your device. This will be the title of your presentation. Great! Okay, it's time for our first speaker. Let's look at the graph. Come here, let's comment. Let's do it again.
Let's tally it all up. Put in a good comment. Here you go. The data is coming in. Don't forget the comment card. One last bit of prep before the award ceremony. Name the big award you're going to give out. Do me a favor and give it a funny name. Look at all the amazing speeches we saw. Moment of truth. Each of you has one last big award to give out, and that includes the audience. Now, finally, the big, big award. Someone here talked their way to the top.
Welcome back to T- Let's do this. I want three drawings from you. You have everything you need to create them on your device. Begin! Draw anything at all. And ask for a suggestion if you need it. Don't be proud. You'll be doing three of these, so save some ideas for later. Your time to finish your first drawing is halfway up. If you haven't started your second drawing, time to get into it. One more drawing after this. Be aware, your time is halfway up. If you haven't started your third drawing, go for it. This is your last drawing, so lean into it.
it's time to write some phrases and slogans. At least four from each of you. Start writing now. These are short little phrases with as much or as little thought as you want. Need some inspiration? Hit the suggestion button. Seriously, don't worry about making sense with these. You're halfway through your time. Ten seconds. It's time to get crafty. Choose one drawing and one slogan to make one contender for battle. Begin now. Remember to check out the different clothing and writing styles you can use. Fashion and battle are about making decisions. Let the tournament begin! Fight! A tie? Not today. The hoodie takes it. One hoodie! Ooh, double hoodies! Don't wander off, we're not done. Time for one more drawing, but listen up. You can start fresh like before or change a drawing from earlier. Make your choice now. Okay, you've all made your choice. Now get busy. You may have noticed that your drawing system has an eraser. Use it! I can't wait to see these in the arena.
Let's have four new slogans from each of you, or more if you have time. Begin writing now. The suggestion button is still there if you need it, kids. Your time is halfway up. You've got a garment to make and some new drawings and slogans to help you do it. Remember, the garment and slogan style are yours to control. Smell that in the air? It's fighting time! Begin the tournament! Fight! Vote on your devices now! Right, I've seen enough. In the final round, our two round winners go head to head. Three, two, one, go! Your champion! <laughs> it's the perfect garment, and just in time for me to dominate Casual Friday. Now, let's take these garments to the streets! Frolicking in the surf, all day and flying amongst the trees. All plays on t-shirt, Ivan shirts are living a life of dreams. Why would we need to fight after you cover us with your woods and your weird drawings? What a strange request to make of me. The battle, the mistress, we sure switch into fight. The first fight like Rama with only one winner. But he will join the fray, cause he comes summertime, needs a change. Boys, that's the job, Johnny.
Welcome to Enough About You, the game where the real fibbage is you. Now we're talking. This is enough to officially be a smallish dinner party. Oh, and if you're not playing, don't forget you can still join the audience. The audience earns points by guessing the truth and voting on lies to trip up the players. Okay, here we go. Okay, here's the deal. You're about to see a question on your device. Answer truthfully. During the game, you'll make up lies about the other players. You get 500 points for everyone you fool with your lies, 1,000 for finding the truth, and if the question's about you, you get a reputation bonus for every player who gets the answer right. Good? Good. If you would, enter your answer now. at the halfway mark, by the way. All right, question one. If this player's life were a movie, the post line would be blank. Now, use your device to enter a bluff that will fool everyone into thinking it's this player's real answer. And if this is your question, just sit back and watch the fun. choices, tap the one you think is true on your device. Okay, how do we do?
Now listen up. One favor this player secretly loves doing for others is blank. Submit your lies now. Okay, these are the choices. All right, who picked what? Get a load of this one. If this player could see any musician in concert tonight, they'd pick blank. Enter your lies now. Okay, find the truth. Let's see how it shook out. Let's see what you think of this. For this player, the best part of going to a movie is blank. Write your lies now. Come on now, let's get truthy. Hmm, let's see what you picked. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, listen up. If this player were a drag queen, their name would be blank. Okay, enter those lies. Where's the truth? Let's take a look. Give this one a shot. This player thinks the worst part of being president would be blank. All right, type in your lies. Spot the truth. Let's see what everybody picked.